Hi, I'm Dr. Harry Okin for Columbia Matters. This month, we're going to be talking about Lyme disease, not an uncommon illness for Howard County. Every year, beginning around March, April, we start to see cases of Lyme disease. Lyme disease is caused by a bacteria known as Borrelia. It's no, also known as a spirochete, and it's transmitted by the vector, which is a tick, the Exodes tick or the deer tick. Lyme disease is the most common tick-borne disease in the northern hemisphere. The Borrelia, which is transmitted to humans by the bite of infected ticks, the deer tick, is the cause. Early symptoms of Lyme disease may include fever and headache, as well as fatigue and depression. People feel like they have the flu. However, the flu seldom occurs in April and May when we see Lyme disease. Additionally, up to 80% of patients can have the characteristic circular skin rash that we call erythema migrans, or an EM rash. The EM rash, which looks like a target, oftentimes is present and then symptoms start later, which might be joint problems, heart problems, even central nervous system problems. When acute Lyme disease is not treated, it can transition into later symptoms, which might involve problems with the joints, heart, and even the central nervous system. Let's talk a little bit about the diagnosis of Lyme disease. Sometimes the history is important. Not everybody has a rash and not everybody remembers the tick bite. But when the clinical symptoms are right during this time of the year from late March to early November, the clinician needs to be thinking about Lyme disease as a possibility. Even without the rash, the clinician may decide to treat for Lyme disease and then later do some blood tests. The blood tests are not always straightforward. Sometimes the blood tests pull, point the way. Other times we have to do a later blood test to prove that somebody had Lyme. What we're trying to do is avoid the later complications of Lyme. Lyme disease can be easily treated with 10 days of antibiotics, usually a tetracycline or doxycycline, but other antibiotics can be used as well. The prevention of Lyme disease really is about trying to minimize our exposure to ticks. Wear light clothing so that you can see the ticks if they're on you. You might want to consider using a tick repellent, such as a deep containing spray. Spray the cuffs of your pants, the cuffs of your, of your shirts, uh, this can be helpful. And do an inspection on a daily basis after you're outside looking for ticks. Now a tick has to actually feed on you for at least 24 hours, probably 48 hours to give you Lyme disease. So that's an important fact if you're wondering whether or not you should be calling your doctor. So Lyme disease is a very treatable illness, particularly if it's recognized early. And in fact, early treatment means that we're going to avoid the late complications of Lyme disease. So remember, if you should have flu-like symptoms from March to November, think about Lyme disease and see your doctor. This has been Health with Dr. Harry Okin. I'll see you next month.